We talked with Coach Kennedy, who says he was a little bit nervous to get back to coaching after eight years, but says ultimately all he wanted to do was get back here on the sidelines. It was a typical high school football practice with the Bremerton Knights getting in shape for their first Friday night lights. But this season, a familiar face back on the coaching staff. Joe Kennedy is back as an assistant coach after being fired in 2015 for praying with players on the field. The district told him to stop and he refused. His contract was not renewed the next season. He sued and the case made its way to the Supreme Court where in a 6-3 majority vote, the court ruled his prayers were protected by the First Amendment. His job reinstated in March and back on the field for the first time Wednesday in eight years. I wish I could say that it was easy. Um, you know, looking back, it, it's been a long road and many heartbreaking years, but you know, it's great that it it's finally worked out, but it's been tough. Everybody that's been supporting me and praying for me across the United States, I mean, that was millions of people. That's what kept me going and, and kept me in this fight. The school district says it looks forward to moving past the legal distraction and that it will fully comply with the court's order to treat Mr. Kennedy's personal religious conduct the way the district treats all other personnel conduct by coaches at football games. And when I first, uh, you know, had to bring the lawsuit, it was only asking for two things, and it was to be able to be a coach and to be able to pray after a football game. The only thing I asked for, that's what they've given me back, and I'm looking forward to doing that on a Friday night. Coach Kennedy tells us he's taking it one day at a time, and the focus now is the first game, which is Friday, September 1st. In Bremerton, Julie Calhoun, King 5 News.